hey family thank you for coming on to my channel today and today i want to show you how i make my black soap bath okay so i got tired of using black soap in cups and i decided to make me some black soap bath so i would be using i'll be showing you some ingredients that i would be using for my black soap and yes i have me some oils i have a blend of five different oils i have coconut oil castor oil olive oil sunflower oil and palm kernel oil yes i chose this oils because i just wanted a combination soap i just didn't want a boring um olive oil soap yep and i will show you my botanical powders okay so this is my black soap i melted this black soap and that's what i'm gonna be using and this is my um okay so this is the consistency of the black soap that i'll be using for my production and i'm going to be using some aloe vera juice so i'm going to scrape this out and i will just blend it and sieve it out and i have me some bl some blend of um botanical powders i have a whole lot of botanical powders in this um plates that you can see so the first thing i need to do is to heat up my oil in my crock pot so i'm just going to put in my oil into my crock pot my crock pot is already on and um i'm just going to be heating it right away okay so and after i heat in my oils i'm going to take you through all the ingredients in my soap um formulation okay so here right now i have blended my aloe vera juice as you can see i sieved it out it's so yummy i almost felt like drinking it but i remembered it was for my soap okay and now i have that set aside this is my lie you please please you must wear your hand gloves when you have to make soaps okay don't forget that i'm a very stubborn person i know the year word so i mixed and i melted dissolved whatever word you want to use my my powders with some rose water okay this is a natural soap i'm making my goodness my body loves this soap like i'm currently using the soap right now before i upload it so my powders are melted well not everything got completely um liquefied because some of the oils some of the powders are oil based then i added my aloe vera into my black soap and i stirred it oh this is so so yummy <laughs> don't you wish that this was yours then over to the making of the soap okay so i had to put in some clean water right into a clean bucket definitely and i turned in my lye now don't forget you have to always put your lye into water not the other way around and please wear your hand gloves i say it again don't be like me i'm a stubborn person wear your hand gloves without and i turn in my lye gradually because guess what was happening this bucket was really hot and this thing can actually burn your skin like there can even be an explosion if you just turn the whole lie like that okay so you have to turn it in gradually and stir gradually till everything dissolves and allow it to sit for some time to for the light solution to get cool and i turn in my light solution still gradually into my oil so my oil was heated up and i brought it down and after a while i ensured the temperatures of the solution and the oil were the same and i turned in the light solution into the oil and i began to stir it okay so while stirring it you need patience because uh don't lose hope at this time okay it's coming to trace gradually as you can see here yeah i don't get this courage just keep stirring and i use my stick blender to stir some more and i got trace quicker than i expected it became too thick but well i had other remedies that could that actually helped me to um rectify the solution right so it became too thick it looks like akamu like literally like akamu but don't drink it now i'm have me some more aloe vera juice and i'm going to be turning in some more aloe vera. should i just call this an aloe vera soap okay well so i turned in my aloe vera juice and i stirred it it had trace it had become so thick and it would have been impossible to pour into a soap mold but with other ingredients i still had to turn in i was able to bring it down to that um gel uh, form right 
so here we are right now i'm just gonna give that a little stare seriously i i felt at some point like i was going to have a very horrible and terrible soap but i uh, i thank god that it came out well then now i'm turning out my powders into you yeah, into my soap because this is the process of saponification really oils and lime mixing together and i noticed the fact that this had to turn to red whoa i one thing you need to do is you have to and you know that some of those powders were actually acidic like i had some vitamin c powders in there i had kojic powder of course and i wasn't even sure if this was the right time to turn it in but well i did and of course i didn't use my soap till after about four weeks so i wasn't i ensured it had cured now i have to turn in my black soap i hope i'm not boring you right <laughs> so i have to turn in my black soap into my soap and i i didn't use my stick blender to like i wasn't on i just basically used the head of my stick blender to just stir it because i didn't want to um put it on and and let it stir i just turned it you know with my own strength okay so yeah i like the way it's forming i like the color mm -hmm. now this is what i got at the last run like it came out so creamy i saw me some lumps and i squashed it is that even the right word okay fine then here we are filling into some soap modes really guys so this is the end of it my soap came out really nice i would be attaching a picture of it um at the end of the video i hope i took some pictures so yeah thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions you can leave it in my description box send me an email okay um leave your questions in my comment section or send me an email i'll respond to your comments or your emails okay so i let this stay for like three days before i was able to unmold it and it came out beautifully well i loved it it actually was a lightning soap guys yeah all right thank you guys for watching please do me well to like subscribe and share my video i love you all